It's speakeasy time. Some of my favorite bars and lounges are located here in Las Vegas, and a ton of them are speakeasies. However, though, um, they're not as secret as they're supposed to be. They've become so popular that about just everyone knows about them. But in this video, I'm gonna show you some brand new speakeasies and some that are completely hard to find. And yes, we're gonna show you Bellagio. And we're gonna start off the list with the newest one. It smells literally like corn tortillas walking down this hallway. <laughs> so we are here at the Durango Hotel and Casino, which did just open not too long ago, back in December of 2023. Now the speakeasy that we're gonna go into is inside of Mijo, which is their modern Mexican restaurant. Now this is what's funny. Um, I didn't know that they had a speakeasy. We kind of discovered it on accident. Like I was just walking in here and all of a sudden I just saw this random door open up and we discovered a speakeasy. So let me show you what it is. So as soon as you come in through the hallway, you're gonna go into this room over here. Now, what's kind of funny is that when you first walk in here, you're just like, oh, it's, it's not really much. It's just like a whole bunch of like wooden lockers with a lot of alcohol in them, a lot of different like rabbits in, in there. But apparently ooh, one of these doors open. But yeah, if I would have never seen that door open I probably just would have come here looked around for a second and walked away like you literally cannot tell that it's right here all right let's go inside this place is nice honestly just seeing from what it looks like on the outside I would have never pictured this is what is gonna be on the inside I mean it's very red velvet I love the music that's in here it almost has like a like an underground 70s vibe to me it definitely is very intimate in here very dimly lit and also it does feel very exclusive because there's only a certain amount of booths, tables, and then chairs at the bar. And then just like the name Wax Rabbit, <laughs> I feel like Bugs Bunny is saying that, Wax Rabbit. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of rabbits all over the place, they're all over the bar. They're on the floor, you can see them right there on the carpet, it's so cool. Now definitely this whole place is really beautiful, but my favorite part is the chandelier right here. It's so nice, it's 66 hand-blown smoke glass pendant lights. And it's so funny, it almost kind of looks like red blood sales or something up there. But yeah, it's definitely very mesmerizing and nice to look at. Now I know I'm definitely gonna see this a few times tonight, but it's cocktail time. Guys, take a look at these drinks. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. So we ended up getting some of the prettiest drinks on here, of course, for the video. Uh, but these look nice. So this one I'm gonna leave for last because I'm definitely excited for that one. So this one first. So this one right here is our Wax Rabbit Old Fashioned. So it's a little bit different because this one has a reposado tequila. And then of course, it's also gonna have agave and bitters. So yeah, I think usually Old Fashions come with like whiskey or bourbon, something like that that so they remade it and put tequila in it and it's reposado too yeah look at the glass i think the glass is super nice really nice presentation lots of drink in there Ooh, smell this citrus in there this tastes like a an adventurous night yeah this definitely has kind of like an old-fashioned feel to it but you could definitely taste the tequila so it's a nice cool little twist oh my god i feel like i would be in trouble after just one of these and now um so i feel like this is a, a the drink maybe for for the gentleman and then ladies, you know you have to get the drink that comes in a woman's body. So this one right here is a mezcal paloma. So of course besides mezcal, it also does come with casa amigo reposado, lime, and grapefruit soda. Look how aesthetic. This is like so nice. I just wanna like have this in the middle of my dining room table with like flowers on it. This is just so beautiful. I just think this cup is amazing. Definitely lots of grapefruit in there and it is very smoky for sure. But honestly, I think this is perfect. One for the gentleman and one for the lady. I mean, but I'm sure there's gonna be a few guys uh, ordering this one too. Okay, all these cocktails I'm having are making me hungry. And I know the perfect thing I can have. Oh my God, I've been looking forward to this all week. Look at everything I just got. So this is Cook Unity, which delivers freshly prepared meals straight to your door, and they're made by a diverse group of talented chefs. You can select from a whopping 350 meals each week. If you can't or don't have time, Cook Unity is happy to select meals for you based on your taste preferences. All the ingredients are real and nothing is artificial. Ugh, I don't know what to try, they all look so good. I knew I was gonna have this dilemma, so I decided to do a poll on Instagram and I had you guys choose the meal for me and you guys mainly voted between the Korean flake steak and the pepperoni non pizza and the pepperoni non pizza what? 
I'm so happy. I was really hoping this one would win. And it comes the hot honey. Thankfully, all the meals are fully cooked. So all you need to do is heat them up, which is great for my busy schedule. Okay, so the one that you guys chose was a pepperoni naan pizza, which was made by chef John DeLucci. And fun fact, he has been a chef at many New York restaurants and he went all over Italy and France to perfect his craft. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys chose this one. Mm. So from all the options that they have, you can browse the menu by protein, chef, cuisine, or dietary needs, including vegetarian, pescatarian, and keto. Menus are updated weekly, and new chefs are always joining the team of culinary all-stars, so you'll always find new favorite meals to choose from. I love Cook Unity because, well, not only are all the dishes amazing, but you can tell that the chefs were really creative with making them, and I really feel like I'm eating fancy restaurant food. So if you want to give them a try, just go on to cookunity.com slash norma50 or click the link in the description and use my code norma50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity. Back to cocktail time. So we just came from a local casino all the way to a strip casino. So we are located at the Caesars Palace right outside in the Green Fairy Garden, which houses the Absence Show, which uh, in case if you haven't seen it, great show, uh, but not for the children. <laughs> yeah, so first things first, uh, here at the Green Fairy Garden, uh, this is actually kind of cool because you don't even have to have a ticket to go see Absent. Anybody can come in here. It is all ages, so the kids can come into this area right here up until one hour before the show starts. But yeah, it's really cool. I mean, have this really nice tree right here they do have a bar they have a place where you can buy some merch some coffee and even food but yes we are here for the speakeasy and uh can you guys guess where it is so this was kind of also kind of hard to find because there's not much signage but yeah once you come in you're gonna see this uh shiny looking building right here and we go this way So welcome to Pier 17 Yacht Club. Yeah, so this area right here, it's fairly new. It's really cool. You just kind of go around those bushes right here. Uh, of course, this area is definitely 21 and over. But yeah, it's really cool. They do have a bar inside. They do have some lounge areas right here, some really nice couches. And what matters right now the most, the heaters. Okay guys, it's cocktail time. Isn't this place so cute? It's like super little, super hidden. I love all the artwork. Everything's hilarious in here. It kind of almost feels like, yeah, like you're on a yacht. Like the bartender is dressed up in like a yacht uniform. Bunch of yacht memorabilia all over the place. So yeah, this is a really cool little speakeasy. Definitely very aquatic. And then a cool little thing about this place. So here at Caesar's Palace, uh, a while back, uh, Evil Knievel, he jumped over the fountain here at Caesar's. So he's basically like, here on the wallpaper and they kind of showed us so take a look ready to see some magic guys take a look at this looks like a regular wallpaper and then ta -da! can you see it right here that's evil knievel and then uh, we have a, a unicorn right there with the let's just call it a, a, a hot dog on his head but yeah fun little facts so if you're gonna come here and let's say you want to get a drink before the show uh definitely do come a little early because this place does get pretty packed and kind of busy so we're gonna do the unicorn juice and the tantric turnbuckle oh they look so similar let's go have a chug so these drinks here they are specifically only only served here at Pier 17 Yacht Club. So for this one right here, this one is called the Unicorn Juice. And uh, if you guys have seen the Absent Show, uh, comment below where this is basically mentioned in the show. Again, not for the children. But yeah, for the Unicorn Juice, is gonna have vodka, grapefruit, green tea, peach, and rosé. And a big ice cube. Ooh, it smells really good. It definitely smells like peach. Wow. And that tastes like candy. Wow. Oh, that one is so good. So, of course, I got the one that's served in the glass. But, you know, if you are going to be going into the show, they can definitely serve it in a cup. I like that. You guys should try that. And then this one is a tantric turnbuckle. That one has mezcal, aloe, lime, cucumber, and wormwood. So, lots of stuff in here. Mezcal and aloe. Hmm. So, of course, it's mezcal, so it's very smoky, but I don't know, it kind of has like some earthy undertones. Yeah, this is more a uh, hair on your chest type of drink, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, of course, those are going to be the individual drinks, but they also do have specialty flask cocktails. Those ones will serve up to three drinks because it's a pretty big flask, and you get to keep the flask. So, how cool is that? This is our most popular cocktail uh -huh. it is the Absent Hallucinator. Yes. So there is four liquors in it. There is obviously absent, which 
which is gonna be the black licorice flavor you taste. Mm -hmm. Then there's Aperol, there is sake and vodka in it. And that is what comes in these little flasks. We're gonna do a quick sample of it. it smells like the absinthe. Oh my lord. That's definitely good. And yeah, again, that you get three cocktails out of that one flask. Dang! Barely took any so out. this fills all of this. This is really more like five drinks. Mmm. Absinthe. Is that Gaffron? Is that you? Hold on guys, I think he's calling me. Get it, because it's absinthe. Okay. This is the tickle me tipple. And that is gonna be like a sweet cherry margarita. Ooh. Ooh, sweet cherry margarita for sure. Oh, that's yummy. I like it. Yeah, because I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of absinthe because it's like a black lic licorice taste, but this is really good too. Mm, mm, mm. Like a sweet old fashioned. Oh yeah, definitely sweet. So now here in the Green Fairy Garden, of course, again, they do have the bar, but they also do have No Pants Burger, which is kind of like its own thing. I have tried the burgers, they're so good. They're freaking good. And again, you don't have to see the show, so you can just go in, go up to them, and order it for yourself. So besides them having that area over there, you actually can order the burger, and it'll be brought to you here. We have uh, two very exciting dishes to show you. This one, uh, look at that, okay. I'll show you that in a bit. First things first, no pants burger. So take a look at that right there. So it is gonna have two short rib blend patties along with grilled onions, American cheese, dill pickles, mustard, and secret sauce. Look at that, it's a juicy one. I don't think I've ever had a pretzel bun like that be so soft. Whoa, definitely love that secret sauce and this one is definitely for real juicy. <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, it kind of looks like they smashed the patties. I mean, guys, we found the secret to a great burger. Smash those patties after you smash the like button. The treasure is juicy, look at that. But also something that they have is called Yacht Tots, which, okay, of course, so many tots, but look at this caviar right here that it comes with. Oh my God. I feel like that's the thing now. You just put caviar on top of everything. That's gonna be so good. And it also comes with a little bit creme fraiche right here. Let's grab a tot. Get some caviar right here. Put it on top of the tot. Who said tots can't be fancy? Mm, mm, mm. These, first of all, really good. Uh, now I feel like I'm on a yacht. We added on that creme fraiche. <laughs> just like in the name, it makes it feel fresher. I kind of just want to try the caviar by itself. Mm. Oh, they almost taste like they're salmon eggs. Yeah, it kind of has like the salmon -y taste to it. But yeah, you can have your tots whichever way you want. You could definitely go regular and pay the $6 or get this whole set for $50. So they definitely know how to bring up the experience. Another yeah, cool little secret entrance. Now what's really cool also about the speakeasy is that uh, it kind of shows Spiegel World throughout the history. So the reason that it's called Pier 17 is because Spiegel World started on Pier 17 in New York. Uh, they used to have their own show over there and they were so successful and then that's what made them move over here to Las Vegas and start Absin and then have all these other different shows. So yeah, it's kind of cool to be able to see all these different pictures that happened throughout the years and just kind of made Spiegel World what it is today. So again, this whole Green Fairy Garden area, they do open up at four o'clock, and then the Pier 17 Yacht Club Speakeasy, they do open up at five o'clock. And they still have been late into the night. But yeah, overall, this is definitely a fun place to hang out, whether if you're 21 and over or not. Okay, I'm gonna take my, uh, my Tots, Crew Fresh, and Caviar home. So we're now at Bellagio, and uh, if you've heard about it, yes, you've guessed it. This is a new speakeasy, and I've heard it's really exclusive, uh, but also I've heard they charge $70 cocktails. I don't know how true that is, so we're gonna go find out, but also, I have no idea where it is. So let's see if the concierge is willing to tell us. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll try to look for it. All right, so they said it's it's a secret door. They said it's right by the Players Club and the Cashier's Cage, but that it's not like an obvious door, so let's try to go find it. Okay, so the Players Card is right here, but where's the Cashier Cage? I think it's this way. This is a Cashier Cage, so maybe it's on this side? Uh, okay, maybe the other side. <laughs> I think it's this.
Okay, so yeah, that was kind of hard to find the uh, the door, but I guess it's kind of by like those tables, so, those gaming tables. So that was kind of cool. Let's check out the prices now. Okay, this first one. $35. Yes, that is a lot, but it's not $70 from what I've heard of. This one's $55, $90. Oh, but that serves too. Okay. Uh, $60, $75. Ooh, there's market price cocktails. Okay. So yeah, I would expect between $35 to maybe like $90 if you get a cocktail for two or so. Got a, uh, a little intro cocktail. It's like a shot. That almost tastes like a smoothie. Ooh. But yeah, they're definitely uh, alcohol in there. <laughs> it's good. That's a nice touch, for sure. I like. So we got some snacks. So I'm excited to try all of these. Ooh. Oh, they're warm. Ooh. This one has a little bit of a cook. This one he said is like an elevated cheese. -less. That's flaky. What? I like, guys. I like, wow. I can't get enough of these. Wow. Yeah, then there's like almonds with seasoning. And then this one, I'm just ready to try it. He said chorizo stuffed olives, which I love olives. So let's see. Ooh, it's hot. I don't think I've ever had a hot olive. Whoa. Yeah, it has a cool little like breading on the outside. And then, yeah, like even the chorizo inside is hot. Wow. Hot. These are cool, guys. So I want to show off two types of drinks. I want to show off the cheapest because I know a lot of people are gonna be like, wow, $35 for a cocktail, which is a lot. So we're doing the cheapest and then one that's a little bit more. So this first one right here is the English Spy. It has Japanese whiskey, grapefruit, vanilla, thyme, ginger milk, and it's clarified. So I know like the big thing right now is like clarified cocktails. And I love it right here. It kind of almost looks like a, like a honeycomb or something. And cool little sprig of thyme. Hmm. That smells fancy. Oh, Ooh. that strange love like does taste like a honeycomb, kind of. Oh, that's delicious. I like it. That one is so cool. It's really nice. It, it does. It definitely does have like that honey taste to it. I like it a lot. And then here comes the second one. So this second one has a really cool presentation. So this one is the Liberty's Torch. It's fifty-five dollars. It has whiskey, house-made saffron and orange, sweet vermouth. Fresh lemon and orange, vanilla tincture, and a burnt rosemary. Beautiful glass. This is not the whole cocktail. This is the whole cocktail, but they said to put it into the glass little by little, to so it kind of like still gets the aromas from the glass from you know all the from the smoke they put in. Oh, that's very smoky. That's nice. I definitely taste the orange in here, and again, very smoky. It's a very nice cocktail. My favorite part is that this is like. Just a fraction of what you're gonna get. So I, I can see why this is a little bit more expensive because you basically do kind of get like double or triple a cocktail. And then also we did put in some food. So I put in the AK Cubano, which honestly was the cheapest thing on the food menu. Okay, sorry, it's the second cheapest thing on the menu. So the food menu is gonna be on the back here. The prices are pretty up there. I mean, they start anywhere from $15 to like 130 in food. And then they do offer caviar, range you anywhere from $205 to $525. Definitely bring your wallet if you're gonna come here. <laughs> now, yes, of course, they do offer more than just cocktails. They do have wine, but the wine isn't cheap either. So for a wine by the glass, their least expensive is gonna be $24 for a glass of rosé, and the most expensive for a glass of Cabernet Sauvignon, $438. The whole bottle itself for that Cabernet is $1,770. But the typical prices look here for a glass of wine, it's anywhere from that 24, maybe to like about the $60 range. I don't see any beer here, which I mean, I get it, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, overall this place is super cute. Like it's very dark, very intimate, lots of candles, very dim. I love the chandelier. The chandelier right here is so amazing. And the bar itself is very aesthetic. It just feels really fancy. So yeah, and I, and I probably would say dress up to come in here because I'm semi-dressed up and I'm like, shoot, I probably should have dressed up more. <laughs> and guys, it's even the little things, like even the coasters. The coasters are like dense. All right guys, open your mouth. Dude, you could knock someone out with this. This is like a hockey puck. I want one now. This is sturdy. So I just heard Iberico ham and cheese sauce. Mm. So this one was 
the AK Cubano. We had Cinco Jotas, Gruyere, Pickle, a little Cuban sandwich. Mm, I'm ready to try it. I'm gonna try it first. Ooh, it's warm. I'm gonna try it first without the cheese sauce. I like, I love mustard, so if it was up to me, I would probably put more mustard in it. But then maybe that wouldn't be fancy anymore. So maybe, I don't know. All right, time to dip it in the sauce. Ooh, that's nice. I like it. I don't think I've ever seen a cheese sauce like this one. This is nice. It's all very good. Um, of course, just remember, these are small bites. I probably wouldn't get full with this, but it's cool. I mean, might as well. I'm here. I gotta make a report for you guys. I gotta try the food. See if it's worth it. I know $23 for this is kind of a lot, but I don't know. You're already spending a good amount of money for the cocktails, I mean. Might as well do it on the food. I don't know. But for this being one of the cheaper options, it's a good option. So if you guys ever do want to visit the ball at the Bellagio, they do open every single day at 5 p.m. On weekdays, they close. So Sunday to Thursday, they close at midnight. And then on weekends, Friday, Saturday, they close at 2 a.m. Oh, 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 it's like a book. Now, as pretty as everything has been, I'm pretty sure the check is not going to be very pretty. <sighs> okay. So for the Cubano, the English Buy, and the Liberty Torch with tax, $122. I mean, we walked in here knowing it was gonna be money. If you guys decide to come here, just know it's gonna be money. <laughs> oh, I forgot my wallet. Dang it, we gotta go. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so it looks like they gave us like a, like a farewell amuse-bouche. They say they call it a jelly shot. A jelly shot for Norma Jelly. Oh yeah, so squishy. Oh yeah, they did say it kind of was like licorice, like black licorice. I definitely smell that. Yeah, it's like mango jelly with black licorice. And this is just me being Mexican with like tajin right there. I like, it's a good farewell. I still have all this. And I've had about here. If you are planning to get like a second cocktail, I do think this is a good one. Or maybe one that's just like a little bit more expensive would be good because again, I've only had this much and I already feel it versus this one, this one probably wouldn't do much damage. Yeah, just FYI. Bigger cocktails might have more alcohol in it. So just saying, depending on what your, uh, your mood is for the night. <laughs> Cheers, guys. However, they're not a secret of the... <laughs> and a ton of them are booths, tables, and uh, chairs over by the bar. Back, let me say it again. So this one is their wax rabbit old fashioned and it's gonna have a uh, shit. <laughs> Not shit. Okay. Poke my eye. <laughs> I'm gonna poke my eye. Oh my god. I definitely taste that orange on here. <coughs> Ooh. So of course, oh my god. 